this is Bruno Pelletier Backer. Uh, today I'm going to talk about finger rolls, um, which happen when I need to play two consecutive notes uh, with the same finger, but on two different strings. For instance, if I'm playing um, F major 7, C between these two notes, between the C and the E, I'm using the same finger, right? But I'm not holding on to the first note. Uh, when I'm done with the C, I roll gently and stop the note before I play the next one. Right? So both ways. Um, that would happen, for instance, in the same place if I were doing uh, an A minor 7th between these notes, up and down, so here, right? So I'm rolling this finger. Um, that could happen also uh, over three strings. If I do this, see I'm not going to hold on to all three notes. I have to make sure that I, I lift. So it, you kind of follow through as you sweep, because I'm doing it as a sweep here, but I'm not much of a sweeper. But as I sweep, I have to follow through with, with my finger rolling in either way. If you do a larger thing like this, like So let me show you a couple exercises that, that hopefully will help you um, be aware of that. So I'm going to take two adjacent strings and simply do this. So it's going to be one, one, but again, I'm very aware of stopping uh, the first note before I hit the second one, right? And I'm going to go like this. One, one, two, two, and then three, three, four, four. And When I play like this, uh, when I roll down, I have to make sure I allow enough flesh on my finger. See, if, my, if I'm using my fingertip um, like this, then I, I don't have any anything to roll with. So I need to put my finger purposely sort of flat like this so that I can roll when I come back down. Okay? And I could do this on any two strings. slowly okay so once you, once you get better at this you can actually do this and then shift here uh, let me do this again I, I can't talk and, sh and show you at the same time right down the same way so I should do very slow because the the shifts are really the, the trickiest thing here here see whenever I shift positions here again and then here again and descending I have four four three three two Again, if I were doing this on the on the next two strings between the the, the third and second, you'll find that each string set has its own little challenges.
it's really harder than it seems. Okay, so there's really two ways to do this. You, if you take two strings, so I'm going to show it again on the first two strings. I could start on the second string, then the first. And that's what I was just demonstrating. However, I can do the, the same thing but backwards where I'm going to start with the first string, then go to the second. So it would give me this because I keep alternating as I go. And then back down. shifts. So if I do that again between the second and third, see how, I mean, it's sort of exaggerating, but we kind of accompany the, the move with, with the, the shoulder a little bit. It's not all in the hand and wrist. Okay, very slowly and evenly. You can also think um, in triplets, one, two, three, one, two, three, ta 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 or four. One, two, three, four, 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 one. The triplets are interesting because of the unevenness. One, two, three, ta 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 Last time with the um, strings three and four. Etc. You get the idea. So those are really really good. They you know they they stretch your hand nicely. You you get your fingertips all worked out. And um, I also find that you know for those of you who play on different guitars, because this is something I'm noticing every now and then. If um, if I go to another one of my guitars, particularly say a classical guitar, a guitar that I don't play necessarily uh, on a regular basis, um, if I do this exercise for 15, 20 minutes, then I'm getting my marks on, on the guitar. And I you know, get used to the different shape of the, of the neck, the different width, um, and so forth. So it's, it's a really, really good exercise. I like it a lot. Highly recommend it. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's vlog, and um, see you some other time. Bye.